Hello everyone, I know it's been a while since I've done a review for you, so I apologize for the uh, bit of absence there. Um, but I'm back with a review today on a new candle that sort of popped in the stores and kind of surprised most of us. It is White Barn Summer by White Barn Candle Company in the standard, uh, now standard at least, gold lid uh, White Barn collection. Now when we first heard of this, or at least when I first heard of this, um, I thought that it would be a repackage of Summer Boardwalk. We've heard that um, while the full Summer Boardwalk collection is not returning this year, um, we've heard that um, the Summer Boardwalk scent that was um, cream, caramel, uh, a bit of apple, um, would be returning since it was such a hugely popular candle last year, by far um, their most popular uh, summer candle last year. And so um, I at first thought maybe that would come with the the lake inspired collection, but looks like that's not happening. That's kind of just releasing the six candles, the Boathouse Row, um, uh, Strawberry Picnic, Watermelon Lemonade, that, that group of six candles um, is, is in stores now. And I thought that it might be part of that, but it's not. Um, so when I heard about the White Barn Summer Wallflower, I figured that, oh, well, maybe that's they're releasing that as sort of the summer candle since it was the summer candle last year. Um, but when I, I got into my store and I was there just to pick up some soaps, um, I, I really liked the Italian soaps um, and when they had the, the sale that started a few days ago with a, a $10 off coupon, um, I figured I would you know check, check it out and grab some of those and then I walked in and lo and behold they had White Barn Summer available. So I was really excited um, to see that. You know they, they started years and years ago with um, winter then they had the autumn candle, um, then they last year added spring, uh, and then finally this year they have summer. So it's nice to have all four seasons. I'm very seasonal the way I burn, so I was really happy at first that there was sort of a candle that they're claiming sort of this is summer. So um, I, again, I figured I was going to smell it and say, oh, okay, this is summer boardwalk. Turns out that's not the case at all. Um, as you may have heard, the notes on this are as follows. Let's get a good, clear shot there. Uh, enjoy the bright scent of a long, sunny summer day with this blend of water blossoms, mint leaves, and a hint of eucalyptus. So, watery, mint, eucalyptus, water blossoms. Now, when I first, that's very vague. Um, you know, water blossoms could mean many things. Now, the Lake Inspired Collection, some of those candles did have, you know, aqua florals or water blossoms or, you know, things like that. Um, and it's always hard to, to sort of pick out exactly what those are. Now, when I smelled this, I immediately realized, of course, reading the notes and then smelling it, that it was absolutely not um, a repackage of Summer Boardwalk, which is fine. I, I'm still happy if that one is coming back. It'll be interesting to see how they do it, um, if it will just be sort of a one-off new release with a new label, um, or if it will be part of a mini collection, who knows. Um, lately, they've been doing things in large collections and then just releasing them sort of sporadically, whereas years ago, they used to release... Um, candles in smaller batches throughout the year and, and in the summer. Um, I know that originally back in 2011, I think it was, um, maybe 2010, actually. Yeah, 2010. Uh, they released, oh, what was it? Uh, Coconut Leaves, Mango, Cilantro, and Beachside, I believe. Correct, someone correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but those three came out in sort of a trio kind of late in the summer. I think it might have been even past the June semi-annual sale. Um, and as we, you know, know, a, a few of those have gone on to be extremely popular, especially um, the, uh, well, I guess kind of all of them. Well, Beachside was, was just a, a one-year thing. Mango Cilantro, most people loved. And, of course, Coconut Leaves, you know, it's a huge seller. So um, anything's possible. They could release Summer Boardwalk with a few other candles from, you know, I, I assume what would be repackages at this point, since that's most of what they're doing, but um, time will tell on that. So anyhow, getting back to White Barn Summer here. I sniffed it and I liked it. It didn't, when I smelled it, I, it really wasn't anything that I thought was truly, you know, summer. Um, you know, when, when, you, when they're calling a candle just, the, you know, the season, summer, you expect it to really evoke some facet of summer. When you smell it, when you smell winter, the winter candle, it is... Uh, winter woods mixed with clove, mixed with orange peel, a little little tiny hint of cinnamon, and really sort of wraps the whole season um, into a nutshell or into a candle. Um, autumn for me is the same way. It's a really crisp apple um, mixed with sort of dark fruits with the pomegranate, maybe just a tiny hit of musk. Um, 
again, really, really autumnal. Um, and spring, of course, too. It's very floral, but at the same time, super green. Um, you know, kind of the early spring where you, you definitely have some florals, some green notes, um, sort of a somewhat true to life, not so, you know, powdery floral kind of note. Um, so those three, for the most part, all hit exactly what the seasons are. Um, and with this one, I expected the same. Um, but really, it's, it's, you know, eucalyptus, it has the mint leaves. Now, I thought that maybe it could be a repackage when I first read the notes before I sniffed it of um, a candle, I think it was called Happiness, from the original Gold Lid Aromatherapy Collection from fall, 20, uh, fall 2011 that I really liked that was, but it was more citrus with some mint. Um, I'm not sure if it was spearmint. I assume it probably was a spearmint or a wild mint or something, as they would call it. Um, and I really love that. And to me, that would be a bright summer airy day. Um, this, I don't really get sort of any of the air notes. I don't get grass notes. Um, the eucalyptus and the mint, it's somewhat similar to the standard eucalyptus spearmint that we're familiar with, the aromatherapy collection. But th those really, while I like the eucalyptus spearmint, um, they're not really true to life depictions of those two notes. Um, it's very much sort of their blend, their interpretation of what um, uh, what those are. In the same way that the aromatherapy version of lavender vanilla um, is quite different than the lavender vanilla that we get in the candle form now in the White Barn Collection, which is a more true lavender and vanilla, um, whereas the aromatherapy blends were a little bit more um, sort of the the higher end blend being a little bit more um, like a like a fragrance like a, a perfume sort of blend. Um, anyhow, again, getting off track, but so it's not like you're smelling a true mint and a true eucalypt eucalyptus. It's more when you smell this, you're smelling eucalyptus spearmint, as we know it of Bath and Body Works. And then I got home and I sniffed it again, and I realized, wow, eucalyptus mint. It seems it maybe it is familiar because I sniffed it quickly in the store. And then I realized that it's not a new scent. N no surprise there. It's actually a straight up repackage, not a reformulation, um, a repackage of a failed test scent that you, if you watch my channel, you um, have heard of. Um, and that is, drum roll here, Eucalyptus Mint and Rain, number six. Um, Eucalyptus Mint and dot 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 <laughs> ellipsis collection. Um, they they tried it uh, late in the fall. They tried it early in the spring in test stores. They had eight scents, um, of which they released seven of the eight. Um, they didn't seem to be super popular. They were kind of a really odd choice. Um, some of the, the notes sort of blended nicely together. Others were very just sort of haphazardly thrown together in, in sort of a, a attempt uh, of combining you know popular candles or popular scents without any true thought behind it is, is what I saw it as. Um, and so this, well, we'll stack them up here since they are the same. Um, the Eucalyptus Mint and Rain, um, when I first purchased this, I actually got two of them because I was sort of excited about it because, I, 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 again, I like herbal, I like rain, I like air scents, I like um, you know, anything along those lines that, that has um, true um, either aromatherapeutic or herbal um, notes in it I'm always interested in, or green notes too. Um, and so I was excited with that, and I, I kind of love-hate it, um, or rather, I, I guess I don't love it, I don't hate it really. It's just okay. It, it leans a little sort of cologne-y. Um, you can see I've had this for a while, and I've only burned it maybe four or five times, um, just a couple hours each time. Now the notes on this, interestingly enough, are a slightly different. They say the cooling scent of raindrops is the perfect match for invigorating eucalyptus mint, creating a lush, fresh fragrance. So with this, they weren't telling us at all what notes made up rain, but it makes sense in the White Barn Summer, they say water blossoms, so I suppose rain, water blossoms, whatever. Uh, and the image, of course, was sort of just seemed like a, you know, a pond um, with the, the water droplets hitting the water, which I like the idea of it. I think it's sort of, a, it's a pretty label. It's a little simple, a little, you know, a little sophisticated, a little bit classy, um, but still kind of a little bit folksy with the, you know, the the sort of hand-drawn, uh, what appears to be hand-drawn, you know, rain cloud there. Um, again, I like it. It definitely, though, is eucalyptus mint that you know mixed with what they're calling rain, 
a little powdery, a little musky, a little bit cloying. It, it's not light. It's not a light, fresh, rainy. Um, it very much leans towards, yeah, I'd almost say powdery. So I, I suppose that makes more sense now that we know that the note is water blossoms. Again, whatever, you know, floral blossoms in water or near water, I suppose. Um, now that we know that that's water blossoms, that makes more sense that it's a little powdery because it's a floral, um, and it's it's a floral that um, leans in that direction, which, you know, many florals do tend to get a little powdery. So, yeah, it just, it doesn't, it's a little disappointing. Um, it's sort of par for the course now, you know, uh, repackages are not uncommon, especially with failed test scents. Um, you know, they basically, some of what they're doing is they've got, you know, they've either created or paid... A, third parties for the fragrance blends, um, and really then their job at Bath & Body Works is to market it how they see fit. You know, they, they'll take something like Paris Daydream, they'll try it as Sparkling Icicles, they'll try it as Flirt, they'll try it as Paris Daydream, they'll see what works. Um, we've seen many, many scents um, start as test scents, sort of fail or flop or not, for whatever reason, not release wide, and then later be released wide into either a similar fragrance or something completely different. Um, main, the main ones I'm thinking of um, is the, the three different sets, and I've mentioned this in past videos, um, we've had three sets of three Paris candles uh, over the past, I guess, close to two years now. Um, and the first couple of sets were all um, test scents from, you know, within the, the, the year before then that then were released as, you know, a Paris group. So, for instance, if you remember when Paris Daydream first showed up, we had Paris Daydream, French Garden, and Lavender Market, um, and those were just repackages of, um, Paris Daydream was a repackage of Flirt, French Garden was a repackage of Peach Lavender, which was a market collection test scent, and then uh, Lavender Market was a repackage of um, one of the aromatherapy collection candles called Peace um, from the spring uh, 2012 Gold Lit Aromatherapy Collection. Um, same thing in the very first one where it was, if you remember way back in 2011, they had the first Paris collection that was, there were more bakery items, it was um, Lavender Macaroon, uh, as well as I think French Bundt Cake and Sticky sticky caramel cake or something like that, uh, and they all had been test scents um, from the fall collection that year that didn't end up going wide, so it's it's sort of what they do um, is, you know, they'll rework it, or not, not rework it, just rework the name and, and marketing of it um, if they think it's something that is a viable scent or something they really are trying to push. It's just in this case it really disappointed me. I think White Barn Summer, there are so many other either failed test scents or scents that we love that didn't come back this year. Um, or scents from years gone that would have made more sense, or even something brand new that would have made more sense to be the summer candle. This doesn't, you know, it, it doesn't represent summer. It doesn't evoke. When you smell it, you don't say, oh, it's like a summer day somewhere. You know, it doesn't have to be everyone's summer. It could be a southern, you know, a southern summer sitting on the porch smelling you know, grandma's lemonade and, you know, honeysuckle blossoms or whatever, um, they could sort of choose any, um, you know, any image as the inspiration for this. Um, but in this case, it's, it's not really, I mean, I don't even think they sort of give us that sort of marketing there. It's just a long, sunny summer day. I don't know. A, a sunny, it's, <laughs> the other thing that I think is just so silly, just looking at this now, too, um, it kind of makes me wonder sometimes, like, what, what are we doing being so obsessed with these candles? It's, a lot of it is kind of BS, because um, they say here it's, you know, the lush fragrance of rain, and then the description of this one is a sunny summer day. So really, they're, <laughs> they're giving us complete opposite feelings, that they really are, they're BSing us. Uh, when it comes to describing, you know, the, the let me paint you a picture um, of how to feel swung this candle, they're really BSing us because, um, you know, the same scent, at first they said it's, let, let's get this exactly here because it's kind of funny just realizing it, you know, uh, cool. it was cooling, a lush, fresh fragrance, um, and then with this one, a long, sunny summer day. Um, you know, it's kind of like, which is it? A, a, sun, a sunny summer day or a lush, fresh, rainy day? Um, it's just kind of ridiculous that, you know, that's what they do. So 
I, I don't know. People may love it. Again, it's one of those funny things where it could have flopped with this name and label, but call it White Barn Summer, and people might eat it up and think that it's so fresh and so great. So uh, anything's possible there. But for me, I'm not that into it. Um, I've got my three wick here of this Eucalyptus Mint and Rain. When I'm in the mood, when I'm in the mood for that, I'll burn it. Um, the interesting thing is, you know, I, I bought it back in I think October, and it, it was one of those candles where I really didn't have a perfect time to burn it because it wasn't really a fall scent, um, wasn't really a winter scent, not even really spring. It's like too light for fall winter, but too heavy for spring summer. Um, you know, some aromatherapy scents can be truly year round or close to year round. Um, just because they don't, again, they don't evoke any specific season or sort of limit themselves to any time frame. Um, but this is one that's just sort of, it's not a scent that I inhale and say, oh man, that's so good, I, I have to burn it. So kind of a take it or leave it in that case. Um, and that's what I, I feel about the, the White Barn Summer as well. So I definitely will be purchasing that in the Three Wick because um, to me it's not really a summer scent and I think it's a little little kind of crappy that they're, you know, just giving us the straight repackage. So, uh, that's, that's most of what I've got. Nothing else, you know, too exciting uh, to report from what I've seen. Um, keep checking the blogs, you know, watching, watching all of the other videos, um, for news on, on what we may be seeing next. Um, I may do a few more videos of just other purchases I've made recently. Um, you know, some of the soaps, there were new soaps in the store that I went into, but again, as you know, I'm usually not too um, too excited about doing videos about soap because it's, you know, everyone can go to all of their Bath and Body Works stores and sort of sniff them and, and they all, you know, it's, a, a candle is a little bit more, um, intricate than, than just a soap scent is. So, um, it's not, I, I generally don't get super excited about reviewing those, but if, you know, nothing else comes along, I may be bored and do that. Um, and I suppose that's about it. So, yeah, if you have any questions about this, comments, um, rants, anything like that, feel free to comment below. I'd be interested to hear what you guys think. And, again, this this was not purchased in a test store. Um, it was actually in a regular store. They were selling wallflowers, um, and they had this near the wallflowers. I was able to purchase it. Um, so I assume since it was in a regular store and in wallflower form in a regular store, um, I assume that it's going to release wide pretty quickly. Um, at this point, we're only what, I think less than two months from the semi-annual sale, maybe even, you know, just six weeks from the semi-annual sale. So this is something where they may sell it through July, but usually they don't hold on to things much longer past that um, before they start doing their fall things in August. So um, if you want to check it out, I assume it will be in, in stores uh, fairly soon. So again, uh, any questions, let me know. And until next time, take care.